at first i was like what the heck <laughs> but then with time it grew on me and i now have grown to love it it's actually lovely. how are we doing hmm hello beautiful people i hope i find you well and in the grace of god in today's video i'm sharing with you guys eight or seven of the german foods that i tried and i instantly loved them i found them great and if you have as well tried them or any of these or would love to try them let me know down um in the comment section down below so before wasting any of your time let us get started so the first thing is gonna be pretzels <laughs> i don't like them i don't i'm not joking i do not i just decided to start with them because i feel like the minute you mention german foods it's like the first thing that people think but for me if i'm being honest i feel like it's just bread that is shaped into this really adorable shape do i personally like it no why because i feel like it's bread i don't really get the mm, that people have about it you hear people talking like oh presents it's like me saying oh bread <laughs> no there are different like types of pretzels some of them have butter inside those i feel like at least taste better so it's like bread with butter so okay but for the most of them they are quoted with salt all over and for me it's like bread with salt it tastes good what no let's just get that out of the way pretzels no for me if you love them great let me know down below but for me mm, not really <laughs> now begins what i really love <laughs> so the second thing is schnitzel and chips <sighs> this i love this i love especially with the lemon that you add to sweets to it let me see if i can try to remember how they make it so basically a schnitzel is like a flesh from chicken i think you can also make it out of pork not too sure but basically you have a flesh of meat and then you quote it in flour and then you do they deep fry it i think so no 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 they put it in the in the oven you know i think you can fry it if you want to but i don't think it will taste as good for the most people i think they just like shove it in the oven and then it's all cooked up that way it doesn't get to soak up a lot of oil but basically you have that um and chips on the side and if you add a drop of lemon to the schnitzel <sighs> and coke on the side oh honey and the third thing is gonna be curry wurst this i think is really pretty normal really it's just how they present it wurst is sausage so it's basically sausage that is cut up um and they add this tomato sauce or a bit of spicy to it and chips on the side um and then they add this little sometimes they put like i think toothpicks or little forks or little spoons just so it's easy for you to pick up and eat really big deal but it's a german type of food and do we usually have sausages and chips in zimbabwe yes but you never find them cut like that it's usually a big sausage that you get and then you basically just bite into it on your own but it's a german thing and hey we love it and by the way i love how they cook the chip how they make their chips i don't know if they fry them be it the chips from the schnitzel or the chips from the currywurst i just love chips and i never used to like ordering chips in Zimbabwe because they always tasted I don't know in some cases they tasted half cooked but here I love them ah. even the McDonald chips here I just love 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 chips I'm now a big fan so the next thing is I hope I pronounce this right Buck Erbensuppe Buck Erbensuppe at first I was like what the heck <laughs> but then with time it grew on me and I now have grown to love it it's to love it it's actually like an orange soup which by the way i've noticed that germans are big fans on soup it's like an orange soup i think it's made from carrot i don't know correct me if i'm wrong if anybody knows this let me know down below but i think it's no it doesn't taste like carrot though it can't be carrot soup but it's just orange in color and then you add the little back to it and there you go you have it um i cannot really explain what it is like i said i'm not really i've never i always eat already cooked 
the bucket ab and soup. I always use ready cooked and all I simply do when I'm eating it is just add the bucket ab and to it already so I don't really know how they cook it but what I do know is that they use a mixer to make it. I think it's way easier that way to like cook it in a mixer rather than on a stove or as all vice against. If anyone knows how it's made or something like that, please let me know down below. Oh, the next thing is my personal favorite. This one I loved it from the from the second I I put it in my mouth. I think even from when they were still making it. This is spaghetti with feta cheese. Oh, oh yes, spaghetti with feta cheese. I loved it. I loved it. So here's the thing: they cook the spaghetti on the stove separately, and then they take like a oven glass tray and in there they cut tomatoes two blocks of feta cheese um olive oil garlic am i missing out something else i don't think so and probably salt i think no i always have to add salt to my plate so no definitely no salt and then that is put into the oven then it cooks i don't know for how many minutes and then they bring it out and then they put the already cooked spaghetti inside and then they just like mix it together um and then they just let it to sit for like a few minutes and then it's ready to serve oh you guys you guys my family here usually cooks it in the evening so it's like an evening meal you know you really go to if you were hungry the whole day honey and you get this in the evening oh you just gonna have a good night's sleep so the next thing is mozzarella cheese it's like a bowl of white cheese and you can have it with whatever you want how you want it but usually just that bowl is what is like the main meal and then you sometimes you can put like salad to the side or dark sauce or whatever when i had it well i've had it with both really and personally i would have it more with salad to the side that way you make, you feel more fuller when you eat it because it's like this white gigantic bowl um it tastes it is cheese but it doesn't taste like cheese i don't think that makes sense it's cheese but it's does not taste like the normal cheese that i know or that i'm used to so i find that really interesting i um, especially if you add like sauce to it um i don't know you get like a whole different uh, you get like a whole different new <laughs> combination right there and the great thing about it is that it doesn't need any cooking it's just you buy it already done and then you just basically just open it up on your plate and probably make a salad that's the only thing you need to make or if you're even lazier then just sauce and you're done that's it <laughs> the next thing are summer rolls <sighs> You, it's like you make them by yourself you just get the whole ingredients put on the table and then you have to pick and put what you want to your roll and at first i was getting indian vibes i was getting asian vibes when we we're eating this you know i don't know because it's like i don't even know how to explain it but there's this little thin sheet that you get i will try and look for pictures to show you guys what i mean but you get this like thin sheet at the beginning and then you take um noodles you place in it but they're not like your normal noodles like really really tiny 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 noodles um from china if i'm not mistaken from china ah that's why i was getting indian vibes yeah i remember because on the packet of the noodles was written asian something 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 so these noodles are cooked and then you take and then you place them on your little white thin sheets and you take some vegetables you put tomatoes you put meat that is just boiled you put sauces you put cheese like you're taking all of the stuff and then you put put it in and then at the end you roll this white sheet so everything's like rolled up inside then you just turn it over and <laughs> i can already picture myself eating this because it tastes so good i was a bit skeptic about it but it actually tastes so good. Will I eat it again? 1000%. Yes. So the last thing I'm going to be talking about, uh, can I even call this a meal really? No, it's not. But it's a part of what they usually have um, before dinner, like an appetizer or so. And that is salami. Salami is a type of sausage here that tastes, oh, that tastes so good. <laughs> I've never come across it in Zimbabwe. We have sausages, but all the sausages that we have in Zimbabwe, you have to cook. But this one, you don't have to cook. You just buy it and you cut it. At first, I, or it, it, like the very first time I tasted it, I was like, 
this is not cooked. But you know, it actually tastes good just like that on its own. You just cut it into tiny, tiny slices and you... It's, it's good. It's actually become one of my best sausages here. That is it for today. Let me know if you ate, tasted, or eaten any of the things that I've mentioned here. <clears throat> and or and how you thought about them in your own point of view and yeah i'll catch you on my next one moment of feeling yourself before you start the video okay <clears throat> serious to business serious to business yes guys what do we think of the new hair color what do we think of it do we like it do we should we change it back with my chocolateness does it go does it come together does it blend i don't know let me know what you think down below.